Hello. Hello, can I help you? Hope so. Um, I'm looking for local newspaper reports, 1923. Yes. Early September. Yes, I think we should have that for you. Just a moment, please, and I'll fetch them. This is the volume here. Here we are. Cool. Thanks. Mary, thank you. So let's have this massive... Oh, I see. Right, February, August the 4th. We're getting there. It's September the 8th. Husband's terrible ordeal. Sees wife killed by motor. Distressing Glynn tragedy. Here we go. Dashing in front of a motor car to rescue her child from danger, Mrs Springett, a resident in Glynn Village near Larne, was fatally injured a short distance from her own house on Thursday evening last, the 30th. The chief witness being the bereaved husband, who from a distance of 25 yards was a horror-stricken eyewitness of the tragedy. To him and the motherless children, the sympathy of the entire community goes out. Mr Springett is an ex-Navy man with an honourable record. Twelve months ago, he himself was involved in a most distressing accident, being the survivor in a drowning accident, when he and two companions were in a boat that capsized by the side of a dredger, and he alone managed to swim ashore. He's not a passenger in the car that kills Emily, but the horror of it is he's 25 yards away. He's witnessed it all. And then he was in another accident where friends of his drowned. One person should not have to suffer this much sorrow. He's settling down to a nice life. He's in love. He's got young children. He's respected and liked in the community. Fate is just dealing him a bad hand over and over again. Greg, I've made you a copy of the report of the inquest. And this is also a photograph of a car similar to the car which was mentioned. Thanks, Mary. Um, how far away is, is Glynn? It's just two miles out the road, out the coast road. Right, OK. A couple of miles. I'll, Just a couple of miles away. I think I'm going to pop down and have a look. Having read the details of the inquest, Greg is now in the village of Glynn, where the tragic accident happened. This is it. This is the very stretch where he lost her. This is where she went. So it's a warm summer's night, end of August, uh, between 5 and 6 o'clock. Henry's finished work. He's He's just walking home, see his wife and, and children. This is this is the strip that he's that he's walking down. He's, his wife and children are coming in the opposite direction to meet him from, from, from their village. All smiling, all happy. She may have even prepared dinner. Henry walks down here. He's 25 yards away. So he, he's he's spotted the wife. He could be waving. He's obviously got a big grin on his face. His little girls are there. His wife there may have said to the kids, can you see Daddy? They could have been waving and jumping up and down. He's walking along here, Henry. A bread fan goes by this way. As it gets there, they're up past there. A motor car comes around the corner. You can still see he's getting closer to now to Emily and the children. And that's it. From about here, the little girl runs out into the middle of the road there. The car swerves the seaside of the road. It goes up onto the embankment. Emily has dived in front of the car to pick up the girl. As he's swerving to miss the girl, hits Emily. That's it. She's about there. And Henry must have just been screaming, running down the road. We know from the inquest that when the driver got out and ran back, Henry's got Emily in his arms. She never woke up again. Completely tragic. I mean, we're literally just minutes from their house. I mean, what are they doing? They're going to meet their dad from work. That's what they're doing. I'm absolutely convinced that all Henry wanted to do was graft, settle down and provide for his wife and family. That's all he ever wanted to do. And he faced catastrophe and sadness over and over again. I like Henry Springett. I really do. I admire him. I admired my grandfather, his son, 
a shame that the two of them didn't know each other. There's no escaping the fact Henry, Emily and Selina absolutely had the rug pulled from under their feet. I mean, they actually faced tragedy. They faced disaster. It's actually remarkable that I'm here. I would find it hard to say that I've really enjoyed this voyage of discovery, but I have found it fascinating. It's had far many more tears than, it, than it's had smiles, but I understand a, a lot more and I admire them, I like them. And more than anything, I think my heart goes out to them.